guys, Susie here, and today we're gonna create some stickers in Canva. So if you told me when I was a little girl that I can create my own stickers and have them shipped to me and delivered to my front door, I would have gone bonkers. This is the coolest thing. I had stickers books, we traded stickers, I lost my sticker book, I had little fuzzies, it was a big deal. Anyway, stickers are really, really cool. People still love stickers. So um, we're gonna create some stickers today and I'm going to, in the next video, actually show how they look in real life. So we're gonna order them today, have them shipped to me, and then a couple of days later when they come in, I'll show you guys what they look like. But if you don't know yet, I'm Susie. I help moms or anybody kind of online create small digital products and then sell them to a full-time income. And one of those things could be stickers that you create or planners or printables or worksheets. If you want to know more about creating small digital things to a full-time income, I do have a course in the description below called Printables by Number. All right, so check that out if you're more interested in this. But for now, today we'll go into creating a sticker and I'm actually gonna design one for my kid's teacher so that she can use it for her students and kind of put it on their, their worksheets and so on. All right, so let's get into this. Um, I do have my affiliate link for Canva if you wanna check it out. That is the program we're gonna use today to create these awesome, cute stickers. And if you have your own business, you can create stickers with your logo on it and you can put it on promotional material. You can ship it with flyers. You can use it at a conference. You can put it on the packaging of your product. Um, you can, there's so many different ways that you can use a little sticker. So anyway, let's just go into the fun and create one. Um, there's circle stickers that Canva has, oval, rectangle, and square ones. They start with, you have to order a sheet of 12 and then they started these prices and they obviously can go up, but the more you order, the less you pay, but you still pay, right? <laughs> it's not like you're going to order a ton and then get for free. That is not how it works. So they have really cool templates here. Today we ride, today we ride. That's fun. I am going to go into just the circle one, just a simple little circle sticker. And I'm going to find something It's more like, toddler age, little kid age. Okay, you're doing great. Here's some cool templates, something that kids would like. I would like something with little flowers like that, but, or this is cute, or that one. But, oh yeah, perfect. So, um, they are the little bees in my son's class. So we're gonna customize this template. And, cause they're Ms. Dunn's little bees. So, let's see, little bees. B-E-E-S, right? Not no apostrophe with the B's, just B's. That's how you spell it, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so little B's. This one's actually gonna be a really easy template to adjust. Okay, and then let's put at the top, we we'll go to text, add a subheading. So Merce Dunn's little B's. Okay have that on there that's kind of cute maybe she can put it on like a special poster that they do I like it okay so the thing about this canva thing is I initially thought you can create tons of little templates and stickers and they'll send you a sheet of say on one sheet or whatnot with these stickers and you'll have each one of the templates that you design. So say for example, we create another one and then you'll have all of these and you can select 12 different ones. No, it's 12 of the same one. So as you're creating them, just know that you're gonna order, you have to order 12 minimum of the first one and then 12 again. So I initially was under the impression I can create 12 different designs and I can order one sheet that has one sticker of each. But no, you have to order one multiples of 12 okay so anyway so we're either going to print this sticker miss dunn's little bees or um you are let's do like you are beautiful b b u b how do we say b beautiful <laughs> i think that's how you'll spell beautiful i know it's not a real word but we're gonna use that we can do that you are beautiful um, what's another B one? Behave. <laughs> be nice. That's a cute one too. We can do like be nice. 
But it's more like a command. You don't want to, like, be nice on somebody's sheet. <laughs> be nice. Let's think of another B one. Okay. So just for now, we could change the direction. We can add another little B in here if we want to go into the element and see if there's maybe a different B that we like more. This little B, he's cute. We can have those go up. I wonder if we can change. Oh, that's just the background. Okay. So I think I'm going to take the top one. You can see you can create a whole bunch and get all your ideas out. All right. And then I'm going to take that one. So I'm going to go ahead, go to print stickers. Once I have the design that I like, and let's just move my face over here. So if you do all three pages, all three stickers that you created here, you're going to get 48 copies. Let's just go a little lower. So if we do 12 copies of each, 12 times three is 36 and then with some taxes, right? Um, so you could either do all of them or you know what? We're just going to start with the first page right here. I just want to print this one. So I'm just done with little bees, 12 copies, and then I want to continue. I'm going to go ahead and, and then I'm going to continue. I'll put in all my shipping information and my credit card and so on. And then in the next video, I'll actually show you what these look like. So they're going to be really kind of cute. All right. And then just one more little thing. I don't really like the white background. I'm going to make it like a super, super light yellow. Add the transparency. Just so, because sometimes just white stickers look a little inexpensive. So I'm just going to add a little yellow to them to make them pop. So then when they're printed out, they have a yellow background. So I like that better. All right. So in a couple of days when these actually arrive, I'll do another video and show you what they look like actually physically. And hopefully they look awesome. And then I'm going to give them to my son's teacher. And then if you guys want to know more about creating small digital products that you can use and um, create online and then sell online, then check out the printables by number course. The link is below. I love creating small digital products because number one, they're easy to create. Number two, you can sell them over and over. And number three, you have no inventory. So awesome, awesome idea to either add small digital products to your existing business or start off your career and start selling some awesome little printables, stickers, or planners. If you want to know more, check out the course below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.